Hello class, this is section 1.1 and in this video we are going to discuss differential equations that model physical phenomena. So the reason that physicists, engineers, mathematicians care a lot about differential equations is that they are really good for understanding how a lot of things work in nature. But to understand the power of differential equations you first have to learn how to translate physical phenomena written down in words to a differential equation. So here are some key terms that would be good to know. Whenever you see the word term rate of change, this typically corresponds to a first derivative. Remember, this is what a derivative is. It measures how quickly something changes whenever you see the term acceleration this usually corresponds to the second derivative I'm sure this is something that you've seen a lot in your elementary physics classes too another term that you often see is the phrase proportional to so let's say a is proportional to B. This typically means that A divided by B equals K for some constant K. And we don't know what a constant K is usually, we just know that one constant exists. So this last term might be the least intuitive of these three rules. What's proportional mean? Proportional means that these two variables, a and b, are related somehow. In the sense that if you double a, then b must also be doubled. If you halve a, b must also be halved. In, in that they grow and they shrink in the, in the same rate. One example that you probably have seen before is this one. This is Newton's law force is proportional to acceleration and this typically means that the, for the force and acceleration of an object are related. If you double the amount of force applied to a bowling ball, you expect the bowling ball to accelerate twice as fast. And in mathematical terms, F over A is constant, where F is the force and A is the acceleration. And usually, in physics, we call that constant M. This equation is more familiarly written as F equals MA. And it turns out that the constant is actually equal to the mass of the object, although you can't tell that from the mathematics. So let us go through uh, an example of a type of problem that you might be asked in the homework or in a test. So here's another example. The velocity of a particle is proportional to the square of its acceleration. And the question asks, write down a differential equation that models x t, the position of the particle at time t. In this case, we are going to have to see what the equation is saying. So first we have a velocity. The velocity is usually written down as the first derivative, and this, this is also a basic physics fact. And it's proportional to the square of the acceleration. And the first thing to note here is that the word proportional is important here. Let me actually use another color. The word proportional. So, some, so two things are proportional, which means that we have a fraction somewhere. A fraction. The velocity is proportional to the square of the acceleration. Velocity 
is the first derivative and the square of the acceleration is in the bottom. This is proportional, so that means it's equal to a constant k. And this is the differential equation that's, that models this position x. So we can also write it down as x prime t equals k x double prime t squared. This is our differential equation. Let's go to another example. The velocity of a particle is proportional to its distance from x equals 20. So what this means is that, and I'll get the problem is to write again, write down a differential equation that models x t, the position of the particle at time t. Again, we look at what this is saying. So we, again, we look at the word proportional, which implies there's a fraction somewhere. So the velocity is proportional to distance from x x 20. So we know what's on top. That's the velocity, which is the same as last time, x prime of t. And on the bottom, the distance of the particle from the point x equals 20. So x remembers the position of the particle, and we want to figure out how far it is from the point 20. So in that case, it's just the absolute value of x from 20. This, this is the distance of how the particle from the point 20. And this is equal to a constant k. Or equivalently, you can also write down this way. Right, and this is how we translate a physical problem into the language of differential equations.